In this video, we're gonna walk through how to build a website using AI in 10 minutes. So we're gonna use Loveable today. This is, in my opinion, the best tool for the job. It's very quick and easy to use, very beginner friendly. Before we tell Loveable what to build, my first recommendation is to spend a bit of time with ChatGPT or Claude, whatever LLM you use, to refine your starting prompt. Because the first prompt that you send to Loveable is gonna determine the direction, the trajectory for the entire website. So we wanna get it as good as possible. Now, what I would recommend, I've got a text expander, so if I just type in vibe, uh, sorry, vibe, um, I would recommend using this prompt. What this is gonna do is it's gonna ask you back and forward questions um, to refine the brief for your website. I'll pop this in the description below. Um, I'm not gonna go through this one today, I'm gonna use what I call my lazy vibe prompt, which just gives me a bunch of stuff. Again, I'll put this below, but I'd recommend using that first one. It's gonna take you maybe a couple of minutes just to um, refine it. But that brief is going to, it's gonna ask you questions about who your audience is, what sections you want on the website, all that sort of stuff. But we're gonna take this and I'm gonna pop this into Lovable. And today we're going to build, what should we do? Let's do a website for a crypto trading platform, why not? And I'm just gonna hit go and we'll see where that takes us. Now, something else that's gonna be really, really helpful to have when you're building a website is an example of a website that you really like the look of, whether it's the aesthetics or the structure. Um, I'm gonna use TradingView. I kind of like this uh, aesthetic. I like the kind of the full width style. So I'm gonna have this in my back pocket to um, use this tape and give it to Lovable to say like, we want this as an example. So I'm just gonna use a, I've got a Chrome extension for taking a full picture, uh, a full screenshot of the whole page. So while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna do that. So I've got a screenshot ready that I can send to Lovable. Let's get that going. Another resource that's gonna be really, really helpful for you um, when doing this is a website called Dribble with three Bs. So you can type in anything, I'm just typing stock trading, and this is gonna give you really beautiful examples of um, websites and sections of websites that are designed by extremely good developers, uh, sorry, designers. So if maybe if I wanted a stock trading chart, I could sort of take something like this, and it's been very thoughtfully designed. So just a few things to kind of have in the back pocket um, if you're looking for inspiration. So Lovable's made its first pass. You can see on the left here, we've got all the steps that the agent went through to build the pages and the components. And on the right here, we've got our preview of the website. Now it's not bad, it's nothing too special in my opinion, but it's given me a starting point that I can work with. I can now look at this and say, mm, I think that should be done a bit differently and this would be better if we did X, Y, Z. So first thing that jumps out to me is the above the hero section, um, above the fold, is a little bit boring. I kind of want like something visual there that's gonna uh, be a bit more interesting. So I'm gonna find an image that I quite like. Um, as an example, I'm just gonna give it this one. Um, so we'll take a screenshot. I'm just gonna drop that into the chat window and say, <clears throat> can you make the uh, hero section more visually interesting? with a background pattern and a screenshot of the trading platform. Use this image as inspiration. Let's just see what it comes back with. Now, if you've got the time, again, I recommend kind of going back and forth with Claude or GPT to improve some of these prompts. Also, what you can do is if you're on a website and you're not quite sure how to describe something, like let's say you really like this section, but you're not kind of not clear, like how would you describe that to a web designer? What you can just do is take a screenshot, drop it into Claude, just say, how would you describe this to a web designer? I'd like to get Lovable to build this, but not sure how to describe it say that in nice words. Let that do its thing. Cool, so Lovable is just editing a couple of those pages. So here you can see um, it's describing it as a dark, futuristic, 
futuristic trading platform landing page with space galaxy theme, blah, 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 full screen hero section, large mock-up of training. So this is great. So you could, you could almost take this and basically say, I'd like, and then copy and paste. Okay, so I think I actually preferred it being centrally aligned. So uh, I'm just going to tell it to, can you go back to the hero section? being centrally aligned with the screenshot underneath the call to action. Just let that do its thing. And then just want to kind of run through and just see what else. Um, I don't like that this is kind of seven cards, so it's this one that's on its own line. The other thing that I might like to do is make it so when I click get started to have a modal window pop up where I can then um, have login details to uh, a sign up form to be able to sign into the platform. So instead of me writing that, I'm going to go to Claude and ask how I would explain that. So let's imagine I didn't know it was called a modal. I say, I want my website to have a pop up when I click Click a get started button with a sign up form. Please describe this to a web designer, ensuring that it looks modern and slick. Cool, so hopefully that comes back. There you go. So this is gonna say, yeah, subtle fade in that animations, gentle scale up effects, modal design, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we'll take that and then we'll drop that into level. Cool. So it's made that centrally aligned. Say <clears throat> when users click get started. So we'll drop that in and hopefully this adds our modal. Okay, so it's telling me that to do that, it wants to connect with Superbase um, so to have a backend end base. I'm going to say, just create the front end. Don't worry about the back end for now. Hopefully this then just creates it. The, the modal. Next thing I'm going to do just while we wait for that is the logo looks a little bit like dated. Can you create a more modern logo for the website? Also, add some spacing above the main heading in the hero section. So just do a little bit of tidy up. Okay. Okay, so it's done it. If we now click the get started button, it, yep. So we've got the modal there with the, the sign up form. So I'm just gonna drop in that next uh, prompt to try and improve the logo. So it's come back, it's changed the logo, it's added that spacing, and you could obviously go back and forward for hours, potentially days doing this, taking sections, tweaking them until you're, you're happy. Um, but I wanted to sort of emphasize some of the key things we're doing here. Like firstly, the ability to take screenshots for inspiration, drop them in, be able to use LLMs, things like ChatGPT, Claude, to refine your prompts or ask it how to describe something to a designer. Those are really key things that are gonna allow you to massively get a, a better end result, even if you've not got the uh, the vocabulary or the, the kind of technical know-how of how to do it, to describe things. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna call it here. I'm going to quickly check how this looks on tablet, mobile, all looks, pretty much exactly how I would expect and hope it to. So the last thing I'm gonna do is publish this so we get a live URL we can look, um, look at it on. So you can connect your own custom domain. Um, I'm not gonna do that today, but you can then sort of have your, your own domain on it. We'll hit publish and then what that will do is that will give us a URL and then we can see how that looks out in the wild. So yeah, that is how we build a website on Lovable. Any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. But otherwise, hope that's been useful. Cheers.